Get ready to hop into the world of frogs. These amazing creatures are famous for their incredible jumping abilities. With their powerful hind legs, they can leap great distances and are known for their agility and speed. But did you know that some species of frogs can change colors or that their skin produces the toxin that can be used in medicine? These fascinating creatures have so much more to offer than just their jumping ability. So, let's get started with some amazing characteristics of frogs. Frogs are an extraordinary type of animal that has the special capability to survive in both land and freshwater habitats. This remarkable characteristic categorizes them as a member of the amphibia class in the phylum code data, which you have already studied in your Animal Kingdom chapter. Frogs are well suited for diverse environments, equipped with features like smooth and moist skin, webbed feet, and long hind legs that are built for jumping. In India, Rana tigrina is the most prevalent type of frog, although numerous other species exist worldwide, each with its own distinct qualities and adaptations. So, as you already know the classification of a frog from the previous chapter, let's recall the classification of frog, specifically the Indian frog once again, so that you will never forget it. A frog belongs to the animal kingdom, just like us humans and other animals. Within this kingdom, it falls under a phylum called code data, which includes animals with a backbone. Since frogs have a spine or a backbone, they belong to this phylum. Also they belong to subphylum vertebrata. Frogs also belong to a superclass called tetrapoda, which includes all animals with four limbs. As frogs have four legs, they are a part of this superclass. Moreover, Frogs are a part of the amphibia class, which includes animals that can live both on land and in water. This means that they have certain adaptations that allow them to survive in both environments. When we look at the specific classification of frogs, we can see that they belong to the Ranidae family, Rana genus, and Rana tigrina species. This classification system helps us identify and categorize different types of frogs, allowing us to understand their unique characteristics and adaptations. Now coming back to the characteristics, some animals do not have a fixed body temperature like humans do, and their body temperature changes according to the temperature of the environment they are in. We call these animals cold-blooded or poculoderms. Frogs are one such example of a cold-blooded animal. Let's now discuss another characteristic. Have you ever noticed how a frog's color changes when they are on dry land or hiding in the grass? This is because frogs have a unique ability to change their color to blend in with their surroundings, making it difficult for their enemies to spot them. This natural defense mechanism is called mimicry, and it helps the frogs to protect themselves from predators. Let's talk about how frogs protect themselves in extreme environments. Frogs, like many other animals, have their own way of dealing with extreme temperatures. Just like how we humans bundle up in warm blankets during the cold winter months or try to stay indoors during hot summers, frogs also take shelter to protect themselves from the harsh weather conditions. During the hottest parts of summer, frogs undergo a process called estivation, where they take shelter in deep burrows to avoid the extreme heat. This is similar to how we seek out shady spots or air-conditioned rooms to keep ourselves cool during a heat wave. In the cold winter months, frogs go into a state of hibernation, where they slow down their metabolism and take shelter to protect themselves from the harsh cold. This is similar to how we stay indoors or bundle up in warm clothes to avoid the cold winter weather. Up to this point, we have covered the essential features of frogs such as their cold-blooded nature, ability to change color for camouflage, and their methods of surviving extreme temperatures through estivation and hibernation. Now, let's move on to a crucial topic which is the morphology of a frog. Have you ever touched a frog's skin? It's a unique experience because of the smooth and slippery texture, thanks to the mucus that covers it. The frog's skin is a vital part of its survival, and it needs to be moist at all times to function properly. When you look at a frog, 
you'll notice that the top of its body is usually olive green with dark spots. It's an incredible adaptation that helps the frog blend in with its environment, making it harder for predators to spot it. On the other hand, the frog's underside is a uniform pale yellow color, which might make you wonder why it's not also camouflaged, but that's not an important question right now because there are so many other amazing things you have to learn about frogs. One of the most fascinating facts about frogs is that they don't drink water like we do. Instead, they absorb water through their skin, which is why it's so important for their skin to be moist. So, the next time you see a frog, take a moment to appreciate its amazing skin and how it plays a crucial role in the frog's survival. Frogs have a distinctive body structure that separates them from other animals. Their body is divided into two main parts, the head and the trunk. Unlike many other animals, they do not have a neck or a tail. Above their mouth, you'll find a pair of nostrils which are used for breathing. Interestingly, when frogs are submerged in water, they can also breathe through their skin, which is a very efficient way for them to get oxygen. Frogs have big and bulgy round eyes that are easily noticeable. These eyes are covered with a unique membrane called the nictitating membrane. This membrane works as a protective covering to keep the frog's eyes moist when they are in water or living in damp surroundings. This membrane can be drawn across the eyes when the frog is on land or when they need to protect their eyes from any harm. It's a useful adaptation that helps frogs to survive in their natural habitats. Additionally, frogs also have ears, which are called tympanums, located on either side of their head. The tympanums are membranous structures that allow frogs to hear sound signals, which is important for communication, mating, and detecting predators. Frogs are remarkable creatures with unique adaptations for different modes of movement. Their forelimbs and hind limbs are not just for swimming, but also for walking, jumping, and burrowing. The hind legs are particularly powerful and larger than the forelimbs, with five digits and webbed toes that help them swim efficiently. On the other hand, the forelimbs have four digits and are weaker than the hind legs. Interestingly, during breeding season, male frogs produce sounds to attract females using vocal sacs, which are absent in females. These sacs are located in their throat and are capable of amplifying sound. Males also have a copulatory pad on their first digit, which they use to grip onto the female during mating. This feature helps them a lot as their skin is slippery they can't hold the female in any other way. This pad is absent in females, making it a notable physical difference between the sexes. This phenomenon is known as sexual dimorphism, where there are physical distinctions between males and females of the same species. These differences can be attributed to various factors such as natural selection, sexual selection, and genetic drift. We hope that you have understood the topic of morphology of a frog. Now, here is a secret on how you can study effectively with the EduRiv app. You can learn with chapter notes, watch video lectures, and solve NCRT-based MCQ tests of this chapter on EduRiv. And that's not all. You also get amazing courses for class 11 and 12 biology and much more for your NEET preparation. Thank you.